Hello everybody, Monaco Maxi here and today we shall be looking at how to make a good sustainable source of power in Tekkit. Anyway, most people would be using solar panels or windmills, also you could use nuclear. But if you're the kind of person who wants a lot of power but doesn't want to risk their house being blown up, here is a good technique. So, down here is my energy hole. And up here is how I get the energy. So, this is a bit of magic and industry. So, I have my condenser here being condensed with this MK3, I think, energy collector. All of these lava cells are being pumped into the bottom of these geothermal generators. And it's like an infinite source of power. So, as you can see here, you maybe want to make sure that they don't go on for too long or they would overflow. But it's quite simple, and I'll show you how to do it here in a sec. Okay, I'm back, and I'm going to show you how to make this. So, first, you'd want your condenser, which I'm going to put here, and your energy collectors MK1, MK2, MK3, whatever you want, and you place it on top and also a bit of glowstone if it's underground I recommend a bit of glowstone on the top next you want your wooden pipe so that will be piping all the lava cells out and let me just get a this and yep and make sure you want to like get your lava cell no, no, no yeah, just make it go faster and you have your lava cells but then cobblestone transport pipes of course I'll quickly go get those okay I'm, I'm back again so yes you have that pumping out of there then you come down like this this is where it might get a bit complicated oh wait yes and down to the ground to make everything easier these shall be going maybe a few over one more just to be safe okay then you want to get your distribution pipes so uh, the, the amount of these you need will depend on how many geothermal generators you need and like how much power you want so I'll put three to start off with okay and then geothermal generators on top of those actually no first since we'll have lava cells we'd want one wait put that on Okay, you hate us that much. Yes. So that will be going up grey. Let me just break this. <laughs> Happy. Won't take a long time. Yes, it will. Sorry. Should have kept my red morning star. And yeah. Okay. So that's going up in grey. So we want one grey and two. And two green, two green, two. Does that count? Wait, two, two. There. Now that means that's one goes up there and two come down here. Same hit. We'll have one grey and uh, yeah, one there, one there, and. Finally, we'll have just one going up in grey. Perfect. You have your geothermal generators hit. So then we can start piping. And of course, once these get some energy, you'll be needing they'll need to get stored somewhere. Now, where you ask? Well, in an MFSU or a bat box or whatever you have. Get my MFSU. Okay, so something like this and maybe here <laughs> that's Jason playing Team Fortress 2 right there and once this starts getting lava cells we'll be able to we'll make some power okay it's going up okay this might take a while I'll just speed up okay now these things have power the power is going through the glass fiber cables into this MFSU producing power. Anyway, thanks for watching. Just a reminder that you can do this on a much larger scale as I have. 
and I hope this helps and goodbye.